Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented by New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Massachusetts, sponsored by North End Mazda Subaru and Rebel Smoke. Last week, the number four seed, Jason Gauthier Jr., defeated the reigning king, now former king, Anthony Karen. Now, Jason faces another newcomer in the number three seed, Al Greco. Let's get to the action. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with this week's bowlers. To my left, the number three seed with a roll-up score of 402, Al Greco. Welcome, Al. Welcome, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Great, great to have you here. Uh, and to my right, last week he defeated the reigning king of the palace, the number four seed, Jason Gauthier Jr. Welcome back, Jason. Great to be back. Uh, what are your thoughts about bowling against Al? Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully a tough match. Awesome. And you, Al, your thoughts about bowling against Jason? I saw him here last week bowling, and uh, he's a very good bowler. I'm going to have a tough series here. Awesome. And what are your thoughts on the new title belt? I like the belt, and I wish we could keep it. <laughs> well, from your lips to Dave's ears, I guess, huh? <laughs> well, good luck to you both, and I'll see one of you in the 11th box. King of the Palace is brought to you by North End Mazda Subaru in Ludenberg, Massachusetts, and Rebel Spoke in Fitchburg and in Lemister, Mass. Up first on Alley 3, Jason Gauthier Jr., who last week defeated former King of the Palace champion, Anthony Karen. First ball delivery, found the head pin. It's his second appearance on the King of the Palace. Newcomer. No yeah. jitters whatsoever. Yeah. No. Nope. Just gets up, throws it, fires it, leaves the six pin. Nice piece of wood, should carry. Opens up with a spare. Yeah, watching uh, Jason here, he's obviously very professional, like approach. Nice delivery, Dennis, David. Well, he was nice on the Kennel Pits for Kids show, so. Yeah, I, I, obviously. Yeah, he made two appearances on the Nesson show. So he probably got the jitters out there. Needs to fill the spare. A little off the head pin. Yeah, got a break. Leaves the one, the two, the seven. Got to split him for the spare. Opens up with a 17. He's been bowling for 15 years. His high singles are 170, and his high trip is a 421. Not too shabby, huh? Yeah. Missed the object on that one. Wants to fill it. Wants to fill at least with a nine here. Let's see what happens. Oh. Grabs an eight. Thought he would have gotten more than that. Okay. Up here on alley number three, box number one, another newcomer. Al Greco. Yeah. He's been to a few qualifiers. It's his first time on the show? Uh, this is his yeah. first appearance on the show. He's yeah. tried to qualify quite a few times. Just like Jason in, uh, on the first qualifying against defending champion Anthony Karen last week. Just goes to show you. Anybody can come down. Anybody can win. So we're definitely crowning a new king. Yep. His Ooh. high his high single is a 152. His high triple is a 363. He bowls out of our old, our old home lanes, Lucky Strike and Lynn. Still love that place. As he opens up with an eight box. Baba family does a fantastic job yes. with that place, running tournaments. Right now they got the Hoffman tournament going on. The Jim Barber is just one of the most fantastic guys I've ever met. Never seen him angry, never heard him swear. <laughs> I'm sure his kids have, but I've never heard him. <laughs> wow, the same leave he just had. Yeah, yep. took out the same three. Now, now where, I know what I say, it. I'm sorry, <laughs> but where else but what? Can't open bowl. How can you take out the same two, three pins twice in a row on two different alleys? It's Weird. And he's got, I don't know if you notice it, but he's got this uh, curve ball, almost like a 10-pin throw when he throws his ball. It curves at the last second. Cuts in. I mean, he took out the same three pins. Yeah. I mean, it's just the way he, he bowls it. If you watch him. That's got a big curve. Now, if you wanted to do that, you couldn't. Now, that last one wasn't... Uh, no good? No yep. good. Okay. Yep. I want to give a shout-out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass. Go visit our friends Marty Babineau and his crack staff of salespeople. Um, and they'll help you out. Great people. Thank you for sponsoring the show and supporting the show. Also, Rebel Smoke in, in Lumminster and in Fitchburg. Um, Bill and Jen Sheldon, uh, good friends. Also, um, great supporters of the show. Yes. Both sponsors, nice people, nice businesses. like to have them down. Yeah, well, we're going to try to get them down here, Dennis. We'll when schedule permits. Yeah, it's, I know it's tough. Everyone has their things going on. Jason throws a 10 box. Jason's favorite shot is the triangle, and his least favorite shot is the spread eagle. Which he had last week. <laughs> last show. Oh. Look at this. Leaves the 10 pin with a couple pieces of wood on the deck, and... I, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, 
He hasn't got a shot straight no, to the I think he does. He, he can just sneak think? by there. No. Oh, he's right got it. Oh, nice. He made it. Nice P shot. Picked up the piece of wood in the back, and the and ball shot into up. the... Opens up, yeah. Ball. Opens up two out of four boxes with spares. Yeah, that, that could have went either way real quick. <laughs> the pin and ball could have spun right around the 10-pin and just not touched it. No. Al's Al got to find it here. Al Greco is retired, and when he's not candle pin bowling... He plays the drums, cards, uh, hangs out with friends when he's playing with the cards, and he marches in the drum corps. That's kind of cool. He's got the one, the three, the nine. Hit the head pin, should carry yeah, it. There it there. goes. This is nice his first shot. mark. This is for it. The jitters may be gone now for Al. Had to throw the perfect spare ball, and he did. Nice guy to talk to if you talk to him, too. Yeah. Very easy going, mellow. Most like most Kenlipin bowlers are. Yeah. So. Needs the big ball now here. He's opposite of spare. Doesn't want to get too far behind. Oh, didn't want that. Leaves the camel hump. MK. Yeah, he's left an MK. Can't say that anymore. Camel hump? Nope. Our OEPD will delete it. Okay. MK. Come on, Dennis. You should know this by now. I know we can't say the other word. <laughs> am I, am, am I going to have to get a sheet for you now, too? You might. Holy Toledo. Want to give a shout out to um, the Twin City Challenge. The qualifying is, are going on now between uh, Mason's Bowling Recreation Center in Lumster, Mass. and New Palace Lanes. That's a 10 string scratch event. Actually, technically it's, ooh, there it is. Oh no, no. His oh, no. favorite, his oh. least favorite shot. He's done it twice. It's Steve's nightmare. He did it in the first roll off last week and again. How does that happen? I have no idea. Oh, oh, oh what almost. Bid. What a bid. Left just the two pin. And gets a nine box. Just missed. The Twin City Challenge is technically a 20 string event, um, 10 string qualifier, and then there are two divisions an A division and a B division. A's will be. Hosted at Mason's Bowling Recreation Center, and B Division will be held here at New Palace Lanes. Um, just call your local center and set up a day and a time to qualify. Wow. I'm hoping to see you there. Went for the spare, took out the two on the left, left the nine. It was a difficult shot. He grabs the 10. Grabs the 10. Got what after six, Dennis? 68. 68. And we got the Al coming up at 48 after four. Four. Yep. Well, obviously needs a couple of marks to get into the lead. He's uh, 20 pins against. Down, let's see what happens. Oh, first ball delivery. He's left the one and the 10. I don't think the, well, who knows? It's candle pin ball and it's wood. Who knows what's going to happen? Right, Dennis? You're smiling. This game is tricky sometimes. Oh, no. He knew it, knew it as soon as he left his hand. I don't no, think I, you really yeah. know when you throw a curveball where the heck that thing's going to yeah, go. Yeah, I mean, look at Anthony Karen. He's got he's got a major curve, but when it's on in that pocket, it's deadly. But if it's just a hair off, you, you just don't know what's going to happen. He's got to get on the got to get on the head pin. Needs a big fill. Needs a spare shot. Still going, on, still working. Down. Down. Leaves the nine and the ten with a whole bunch of junk One, on two, the deck. One, two, three, four, five pieces of wood. I have no idea, Dennis, David. Spraying and praying. Wow. And the ten pin stays. Uh, wow. How did that stay? People, you saw it. I saw it. You just, you know, sometimes uh, you have to, th with that much wood, you may have to throw the ball just a little bit harder. Yeah. That's a ten. So after six. Jason Gauthier Jr. at 68, Al Greco at 67. Four to go, first string, Jason up by one. And Al's getting 14 pins. That's already added in. Oh, nice ball. Left the six pin again. Nice wood. Oh, maybe I spoke prematurely. Now get out of here. Okay. Just want to let everybody know the next King of the Palace will be March 28th at 4 o'clock. No good. 
and in May will be the very first ever Scratch King of the Palace tournament. This one here will be by sign up only. So this one is for all you people that were afraid to come down and do the King of the Palace because of the 80% handicap. So now it's time to put up or shut up. Right, come on down. You, you didn't want to do it because it was handicapped, now it's not. Let's see what your excuse is on that. You didn't want to come down because you didn't think it was going to last in season one. You thought it might have been a fly-by-night show. Here we are in season three. I'm giving you a scratch tournament. And if it takes off, who knows? Maybe we'll do it one every other month. That would be nice. And the 10 bucks after. Puts Jason at 87 after eight. Well, he's left the door open here. Yeah, Al. Al throws a marker too. He can take the lead. Well, a little extra time here, lining up his first ball delivery. Oh, just missed a head pin, but he's getting, got a decent break on that. Left the one, the two, the four, the six. This is going to be, well, maybe the wood's going to help. Yeah, that'll take out yeah. the six pin. Should take out the six Just split him. Split him, yeah. He's, that's the key. He's got to split him. Oh, oh just the head pin. Just missed the head pin. Want to thank all of our viewers out in TV land. Uh, all the 15 season towns for local access TV. Also, all the viewers on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching the show, supporting the show, um, and liking the show on our Facebook page. Without you guys and the bowlers, you know, this is impossible. Exactly. And we read all the comments, we comment them. I, I know I comment quite frequently. There hasn't been any bad ones lately. I've been kind of disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> You must be doing something right. Yeah. <laughs> One of the comments said we're gelling very well. They, they love the combination of the analyzation of the shots and the comedy. Ooh, that was a big word, analyzation. I, I, I have to go lay down in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Just wow. missed a head pin. Yeah, you need the head pin on that for the possible making of the four horsemen spare. Both these guys are struggling. Yeah. So we got after eight, 80. After eight, Jason Gauthier Jr. at 87, Al Greco at 85. Well, he'll come down to final two boxes to see who wins the first string. And they both want that title belt around their waist. The vacant. Yes. King of the Palace oh, title. Leaves the 10 pin. Nice head pin hot shot. Heading quarter. He's got the 10 pin up for a spare all by itself. Now, earlier he hit the one and got it to take this out. I wonder if that's going to be in his head. Yeah, he put a little. I thought he was going to overcorrect for that. That, you, that happens all the time. You uh, hit, hit the one in the gutter to and uh, get a nine box instead of a spare, and it's in your head now. Oh, he missed uh, it to the left, and he missed it to the right. Okay. You just got to learn to put that out of your mind. Oh, that comes with uh, years of experience. Yeah, it does. Oh, found the head pin again, and look at this mess. He's oh. the 3-7. Yep. Steve, I'll have you know, a couple weeks ago, I actually picked up the double pinochle. He did. It's a beautiful shot. Yep. I would go far right, almost in the gutter on this one. He's going the opposite way. Right? Oh, oh nice. wow. <laughs> wow. Nice right. pickup. How do we know, Dennis Day? How, how do we know what's going to ever happen in this you game? You don't. You just don't know. You just don't know. Well, that's know. where the sidewalls come into play, you yeah. know? Well, you got a break. He, it, it, he makes the three and the seven, but he misses the ten. Why? It's that's in candle your, pinball. It's in like, your head. I don't know. Oh, wow. We didn't oh. want that. Goes it with three. Uh, Ugly. Very disappointing. One on what? Nine? 109. 109. First strike for Jason. A little bit disappointing on that, Phil. Three marks for 109. Difficult. Well, it always says, too, is, is, is a lot of the times you bull your competition. What was that? Yeah. You bull your competition. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, final two for Al. Let's see what it's happens. It's happened to me. Oh, wide left, but he's, oh, look at this, look at this, people, got a break. Got to take weak advantage ball. of that. Oh, he's got to get this spare, absolutely correct. Needs this spare. The one, the three, right-handed bowler, should split him, and he did. Nice there shot. You go. Pick up. Nice pickup. Now he wants the eight, nine, of the ten. Yep, we have a real barn burner going on. <laughs> uh, not as high scoring as... Most of the time we get on the... Yeah, it happens, yeah, It happens. You get those lull strings, and then the next one they come back and throw 170s at you. still going to come down to the final box. 
I mean, they can bowl or they wouldn't be on the show right now. Well, look at this. Wow. He trusts. Threw the ball in the ocean and he got a little bit of luck on that Threw one. Threw the ball into the three and the six pin pocket and he gets a nine drop and leaves the seven. The seven pin all by itself known as the corner of the building shot, which he needs now for a spare. I have no idea where to go here, David. Dennis. Right, right at it. Just there like that. Oh, he did. Oh, okay, I didn't see that. I, I missed that on the replay. I didn't think he had a clear shot at it. You can see it, play it. Yep. He's going up for his fill shot. What are the rules in Candlepin Bowling? Does he move over to the other alley? No, nope, he just finishes it right here. Same alley. Same alley. Okay, thank you. And fills it with a five, ends with a... 119. So after one, Jason Gauthier Jr. at 109, Al Greco at 119. Ten pin lead for Al going into the second. Well, I'm going to tell you what, Jason better not lay off now. Yeah, he needs to pull like he did last week. Well, I think what hurt him in that first string was missing that uh, that ten, ten pin. It in gets in your head. I'm get, oh, yeah, you, it does stick in there. You're right. He went wide left and he yep. went wide right. But like you said, that's when he has experience coming in. You're going to yeah. learn to put it out of your mind. And you can't always do it. Even I've been bowling 36 years, and even oh, sometimes me. Yeah, you, yeah, just, you, you can't. You overcompensate. Yep. Well, get me uh, questions now, Dennis? Yeah, let's uh, go to Noah H. Would another variation of aces and eights be the one three four seven or the one two six ten? Well, that's for our that's for our co-host. Was it the one three? The one three four seven or yep. the one two six ten? And yes, it would be. Yep, absolutely. Okay. So I, I guess commentator on color, the best there uh, is. I'm, I'm glad to the see that. I'm glad to see that our our terminology is actually starting to pick hey, up. There you go. Where she, oh, where, the where she, does she say where she's from? Uh, Noah, H. No, doesn't say where he's from. Oh. Well, Al Noah, opens up without. Noah, you got the answer from the best. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> okay, little weak gal in that first ball, a little nervous. Oh, boy. The nerves should be gone by now. Yeah. I would hope so. Still opening up a string sometime. It, it leaves you. No, he wants to get at least eight out of this. Let's see what happens. One of the best oh, things. Oh, you got nine. Okay. One, thing I, the, the, one of the best things I love about this show is the, the far reach that we're actually getting. Yep. Um, you oh, know, Michigan good. and Canada, and, you know, Nova Scotia, and Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. And Florida, Wisconsin. I would love for all you viewers out there who are actually on YouTube, give us a shout out and let us know where you're from. Well, here he's found the one three pocket. He's left this ugly mess of the two, seven, eight, and the ten. And one of the best things that you can do for the show is when you see it on YouTube, share it on your Facebook page. Let your friends see it from around. Yep, spread it as much as you can. And if you want the king of the palace in your neck of the woods, call your local access and cable provider. Um, I don't know if they have that in Canada or not, but that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, absolutely. Doesn't cost you a penny. You just nope. fill out one piece of paper saying that you want it, and they call us, and we take care of everything for yeah, you. Yeah, one of the things is that we need advocates for those cities and towns where you, either you live or you work. Um, unfortunately, my arms aren't that long to reach um, every state or every city and town. So with your help, you can help us grow the show and probably try to get us back on. Oh, come on. There it is. Wow. That was kind of like a slow strike, strike. by the ball peen hammer. Yeah. Well, the Real six slow. Pin, he's left the six pin, I believe, three times this week, and it, it finally fell for him. Wants to fill the strike with another. Oh, no. No. Wow. Oh, no. He puts his head up. No. <laughs> that looks just looks up at the bowling gods. He just... Got a strike, fills it with a beautiful first ball, and what? how does that happen? I have no idea. Want to give a shout out to our co host a couple weeks ago, Jonathan Boudreau. Thank you very much. It was great to see you filling in while uh, Dennis was uh, <coughs> the title. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> filled a strike with a five, very disappointed. And a seven bar for so 22. So after two, Jason's at 22 and Al's at 31. It is a nice shiny belt, isn't it? It is. It would look better on my waist, but uh, oh, it would have well, fit, you know, fit real well too, I think. Right, did <laughs> great adjustments on there, David. Would have fit right, right there. Where? What? On, on Dennis's waist, right? Well, no, he's got to earn it. Okay, Al Greco up. Nice ball delivery. Found the head pin. He's left just the three. Nice wood. Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Either piece of wood should yep. take it, if unless yep. he goes too far left on the one. Yep. Oh, Just yeah. like that. Ooh. Oh. I think even if he hit the end of that, it would have went. Yeah, well, he had to hit the end of it. He missed it by a mile. Yeah, yeah. Any kind of touching of the wood. Just like that. 
It's always the third ball. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is pressure. You're on TV, man. Yeah, I mean, it's pressure to get the spear. <laughs> You know, if there's something spe special that you want us to mention on the show, um, not just like your questions of the week, you want to give a shout out. Yeah. You know, put it on the YouTube. Put it on there. Yeah. Give us a shout out. You know, we'll say, read hey, it. hey, we'll you want to say hi to Ma? Or just, Dad? Or you can go to newpalacelanes.com and leave it there. Yep. You know, I'd be more than happy to give you a shout out. I don't have any issues with that at all. No. Well, you're shooting the 47 here for 10 bucks. Ooh. The Make only the thing I, I ask is don't ask for cheerleaders because a lot of people have been asking for cheerleaders and it's hard to come by cheerleaders. Yeah, we just can't get our hands on those cheerleaders. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, come That's on. That's all we need. Come on. Well, these Al's, Al's left the door open here for... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Has there ever been a, a bowling show on television with cheerleaders? I don't know. Not here to we my go. knowledge. Um, well, we've always tried to do something different. So we introduced the, the world title belt. Now we're introducing uh, in May the the Scratch King of the Palace. We always get surprises coming. So who knows? Got a little tricky wood here, people. There you oh, go. No, picks he it up. Drilled it. He drilled it. Okay. And we got a possible new surprise for next season, which we're it's in the discussion stages, so I will not get into details. But we're always thinking of new ways to surprise wow. everyone. We do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Oh, nice hit. Oh, wow. No. Oh, okay, oh, it fell. The five this is fell. one of his favorite leaves is the triangle. One of the six triangles in can open bowling, better known as the... Well, also known as the Mongo. The Mongo. And very difficult. Oh, you had to make the contact with the front pin. Just missed. My favorite leaves the diamond, not because I can make it. It's just it's so beautiful when it goes. Goes, yeah. You yeah. just want to do the DDP bang after you hit it. That's all That's that right. is. That's right. You know Come it. on now. And after four, Jason's at 47. And Al is at 50. Al has a 13-pin lead. Jason better start doing some work. Well, once again, want to say hi to our good sponsors once again, the Sheldon family and Marty Babino up there at up there in Route 13 in Lunaburg. Great friends. Yep. Go to buynorthend.com. Um, North End Subaru Mazda and the Sheldon family. Thank you. From Rebel Smoke, okay. you can go to rebelsmoker.com and visit their website. They have a full array of anything that you could ever possibly want for partaking in your stuff I can't mention on the show. Pleasure. I'd love to have them down here. You know, yeah. good commentary. Ball, we'll Maybe work. they could be a guest scorekeeper or a guest lob line judge. We're going to work on it. He's facing five pins here for 10 blocks. Hit the wow. object only took light. two. Whoa. All right, now, Whoa. I mean, to be honest with you, Al doesn't really have to do anything spectacular just to pace. The yeah, but you the never, rotation. you never want to just pace. You want, you want to. I know. Set the bar a little higher because they can just sneak up on you and take it right from you. I know. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> what are you referring to? The the title belt? No, actually, no. I wasn't. I was referring to the Friday night league. But. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I'm still not over it. I know. I don't. He has I don't nightmares. Know. As Steve has nightmares over the Dread Eagle. Dennis is the having nightmares of the title belt not being around his waist. Yeah, we got to talk about this, Dennis. See how we can get rid of it. Sure. I mean, obviously, we were both in a funk about it. Get rid of what? Well, you not obtaining the belt that you wanted so badly, and me getting my off my spread ego kick. No, no, that'll never happen. Well, I'll, in due time, mine will go away. <laughs> well, that's because he has to put it around his waist. I'll, I'll just buy a belt and put it around my waist. You know. That's buying a belt. That's not earning, earning a belt. That's like the wussification of America. <laughs> well, you can't earn it. You got to buy one. Uh, Everybody gets a trophy. Well, the doors no, I'm open. Not, I'm not with that, but <laughs> the doors open. People, Jason's up. He's facing two seven boxes. Here's the chance to put it away. Ooh, wide and right. He's left the one, the three, the six, the seven. He's got a shot at a spare, but he's got to make the washout. Let's see what happens. The wood on the deck, off to the right, off picks the up right. the six. Ball and like Dave in. said, uh, share it on you, uh, share it on Facebook, share yes. with everyone you can. If you know someone who works at a at a TV station, share it with them. Show yeah. them what they're missing out on. Yeah, maybe somebody will uh, see it and pick it up. Maybe somebody from Hollywood will see it and pick it up. Yeah, that'd New be York, nice. wherever. You know. Well, the one thing we get going if it's Hollywood, we got Travis, the OEPD. There you go. He misses to nobody. He's the best. Yeah, we have our own Hollywood producer. Yep, that, there's no doubt about it. He's like Travis Falk. He answers to nobody. I'd love to see. The OEPD is going to get a swelled head again. 
I'd love to see if we have any viewers in like Europe or That'd something That'd be kind of like cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know, my, my cousin watches it and she's in Switzerland. Nice. No, Joe. All of it. Anybody can watch it. You know? It's Cantlip and Bowl. You know, a lot of it too is Cantlip and there's people growing up watching Cantlip and TV, uh, Cantlip and on TV or doing, going Cantlip and bowling with their grandparents or their family are transplants. Yeah. As they grow up, they move on. and this That's and how that. the alleys come to be across the United States because people that lived here that own alleys move there and they, they uh, move the alleys to wherever they move to. Yep. I'd like to move to Florida. Yeah, me too. If it wasn't, oh. if it wasn't for Cantlip and Bowling, oh, I'd good. be living there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah. I'll move the alleys down to Florida. There you go. After six, Jason's at 64 and Al's at 64. Well, so Al just banged, banged the pocket. He originally had the four, seven, six, ten. The two on the right fell down. Oh, he put a wide left. Oh, he wants to grab this one. Once again, people out there in viewing land. Another it's a barn two pin, burner. A two-pin spare. It's not as easy as it looks. Especially it's, for a curveball. Yeah, it's difficult. It's not as easy as... It's it easy to throw a curveball when you have all ten pins up on that alley, no. but as soon as they start getting fewer and fewer, it's... you got to be more precise. Yeah. And people are very precise with them. They can be. Yeah. Very, yeah. I can't throw a curveball to save my life. I used to be able to throw a reverse curve. Uh, if I hit it in the pocket, it was a strike every time, but it was just trying to get whoa, 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 it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. A strike every time? Every time it was in the pocket, I threw that reverse curve. Every time. But getting to throw the reverse curve was a high pot. Oh, a little weak there. He's left the one to... So that's not a challenge. He just said what he... Yeah, no. Well, no. Uh, speaking of challenges, how are we doing? <laughs> yeah, you did <laughs> make do the statement. I'm, I'm, Caught me completely off guard. I'm here. Nice. Oh, nice. I, I'm almost I'm almost. Let me 100%. know. Yeah, the, the OEP. Don't team. worry about it. He's going to film it. I'll direct it. Oh. I'll analyze it. And I'll watch it. <laughs> you, rea you realize I can manipulate this, right? I, you told me on the air, Dennis was privy to it. You would make. Oh, oh here we go. Oh. Uh, 50 you would make 50, eight, right? eight out of ten times. If oh, I eight said out that. Of ten. Yeah, it was eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. What, well, left or eight, right? Didn't matter. I gave you the side. What's the, oh, wide left. Just oh. missed it. Just let me know, David. I'm being prepared for it. Nine bucks. I anticipate probably our all-time biggest crowd for that, too. Well, we threw a weak ball here. He's left the one and the two. He needs to pick this up. Oh, just oh, missed it. Just missed it. Well, missed the seven pin for a spare, and he missed the one and the two for a spare. Got to be very frustrated. And then he grabs the 10 box. So after eight, Jason and Al both tied at 83. So Al still holding on to that 10 pin lead from the first string. Going to come down to the last two boxes. And how many pin lead did? Uh, <coughs> 10 yeah. pins right now. And after fr after the first string, Al was ahead yep. by ten. Now it's it's still by ten because it's still tied. by ten. Yep, it tied. This is it. He gets a mark here for us, and Jason to get two. Oh, wide left wow. again. And he's left. That's the one MK. thing. What's up? That's the one thing about that curve ball. If you're off with that curve, that ball's just going to go wherever it wants yeah. to go, as you can see there. Leaves the MK to the right. Going to throw this. Oh, oh wow. Ooh, a little full. That time it didn't cut as much. Nope. Leaves the two, the three, the six, and the ten. Yeah, you know, it's funny. He'll throw that ball a little harder, and it won't break. He'll throw it a little slower, and then he's got the break. Dennis, you think that um, he's manipulating that curve, or is it just happening? No, I, th I, think he's, I think he does it. It's a natural curve. Yeah, it's a natural. natural. It, yeah. so, it's, like I said, bowling styles are like fingerprints. There's yeah. no tool alike. No tool like, oh, yeah, we said that. Or a curve, some people that can't. Well, now he's found the head pin. He's left a nice little spare lead left here. The Headquarter shot. Leaves the two four seven with a piece of wood going oh, up the, go. behind the two. Ooh, and just I don't know. Where you going, guys? I'm going right after that piece of wood yeah. on the left. Yep. Or or play it like it's not even there. And he went. Oh, he still oh. made it. <laughs> he went, he <laughs> even he's shaking his head. <laughs> it's can open bowling. He's like, oh, how did it happen? Eyebrows are going up. He's like, wow. <laughs> He's appealing to the bowling gods. He's wiping completely, his feet off on that completely one. Completely missed the shot and he gets the spare in the tenth box. No, and no, now he's going to force Jason to make two marks. Anything yeah. is possible with uh, Deadwood. I know. 
It's the yeah. bowling gods even and out. We've always said it. It happens. Eight, nine, and ten to really put the pressure. Found the head pin, and he's left. Drop seven. Uh, drop seven leaves an ugly seven pin, but it doesn't affect anything. He's got One, 109 for a two-string total of 228. So needs a double strike, right? Yeah. Can't do it. Jason needs 37 pins in two boxes. So he could do it with two marks and two nine yep. drops. Or two, uh, nine. Yeah, okay. he needs two marks. Two marks, right. Or a double strike without a mark. Well, that's two marks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Off. It's all right. He, now you throw the nine drop, get the spear. Found the, oh, oh, what a pitch. Wow. All right, he's not dead yet, though. He could throw a double on the last. Needs a double strike to win, right? Or attempt to win. What's he need exactly, David? Dennis? He needs uh, 28 pins. So he needs, needs a du double, double plus eight. Yep. Yeah. Double strike plus eight. Let's see what happens. Nope. And That'll that's be it. it. Al's going to move on. Al Greco will be here next week, continuing on the step ladder to possibly getting the championship belt here on the King of the Palace. We had a little uh, set malfunction, not like a wardrobe malfunction. Thank you very much. I like those. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> With a 10 it's box. a family show. <laughs> Hands on cheerleaders. So, so second string, Jason throws a 102 for a two string total of 211 to Al's 228. I want to thank, uh, say congratulations to uh, Jason Gothia Jr. for being on the show and uh, congratulations to Al. Jason had four spares and one strike and Al had four spares. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nezzo, standing here with this week's winner, Al Greco. Great match there, Al. Uh, how'd you feel going into the match? Uh, I felt pretty confident, but that last string, we, we both struggled, and I kind of got lucky at the end. Yeah, you, you held on just enough to keep him, right. keep him out of arm's reach. The door was open through the whole string for both of us. Yeah, he just couldn't capitalize on that. Uh, so great bowling. You did beat him by 17 pins. So now we're going to go to the viewers' challenge and see if we can get ourselves another winner. Just reach in there, grab out one. Okay, and this is from Jane Paul from Lemons to Mats. You beat him by 17 pins and she guessed 20. So she did win, she's within three pins. So we have two winners two weeks in a row. Dave's, Dave's gonna be poor in a few minutes. <laughs> so uh, you are one step closer to this title belt. So good luck next week. You are facing the number two seed who did tie your score with a 402, but he did have a 155 high single. So he is the two seed, Justin Leonese. Have you ever bowled against him? I uh, never bowled against him, but he was bowling alongside me, and he's a good bowler also. Okay, great. Well, I will see you and everyone else next week on the King of the Palace.